Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product. You can see uh, this is Kinkone TS. Uh, that means the Kinkone Tiny Sensor. Uh, it's very small, RS485 temperature and humidity sensor made by SHT30. So you can see this before we have used it's a big one and this time we have made this one. You can see it's very small. So the size uh, that have reduced but the function have no changed uh, and we have added some many different new functions uh, on this tiny version so in this video i will show you this ts details and how it works uh, it also support by home assistant by esp home you can use by mode bus controller because the port code we have used standard mode bus okay let's look at my computer and you can see this is the king Kone ts tiny SHT 30 temperature and humidity sensor and you can see uh, this is in front of the PCB and the back and, and the back at here uh, this is the back and you can see uh, this have two LD and one is for uh, power and one is for work running uh, just LD will be blink and the size you can see uh, is very small and the temperature are for this range and the humidity for this range and you can see this SHT30 the sensor have on the PCB board and you can see this RS485 you can work at this different bandwidth and you can see we have designed the PC software and also this uh, tiny sensor will include this cable uh, this small cable and you can see RS485 A and B and power and ground and this is the PC software uh, you can see that can monitor the sensor for temperature and humidity you can see this can dry the different position on the uh, die ground and you can also read the address and set the address and set a different bandwidth by the PC software will be easy to use this is the PCB you can see the different PCB and this we have used the mode bus protocol and for read the temperature and humidity and also you can see you can modify uh, the different setting by S485 command uh, just a different address and dif different bandwidth uh, this means by the command you can set the send the command to S485 port to change the settings not according to the PC software because the PC software running the Windows PC operation system and sometimes maybe you have used Macintosh, Apple OS so the PC software can't running so you can send the command manually and at last you can see you can also integrate to home assistant by the ESP home we can see this is YAML file we have listed at here uh, you just copy and paste to use and you can see this have some details in our form just at here you can see this is A32 Pro integrated with the uh, S45 temperature sensor and, and also just this time you use the small one but the command is seen uh, you can just uh, use this command to integrate to your home assistant by ESP home okay let's look at how it works and some details on the PCB actually okay let's look at this is King Kone TS uh, you can see it's very small uh, the King Kone TS this is back and this is in front and this terminal you can see will include this cable uh, this cable will include from, uh, for this uh, small board and you can see uh, just the four cables that have connected power and ground uh, the power is range from 9 to 36 DC power supply and this is for A and B as for it five communication cable so just only use have connect two cab four cables you can let it become work and this is a jump uh, this that have a uh, IS485 terminal resistant uh, if you have connect many different uh, this small tiny version TS board uh, the last one you will can shut for these two pins that will be enable the resistant uh, 180 ohm resistant terminal resistance uh, for this board just the last one because if you I have used this IS45 USB adapt I will connect to this connect to this smart board 
and to configure it and to read the state. But if you have connected many different board, maybe you have connected with a 200 uh, TS board together uh, for one IS485 bus. So the last one you need to enable this terminal resistance. Just a shot for these two pins. And you can see uh, this is size. Just you can see the size is very small. And this size you can see. It's very small and you can see the before the older one this is the older one uh, is485 temperature humidity sensor so this time we have designed reduce the size and the space so you can see uh, that will be very small will save your many space so you can insert this small module to any different small space uh, so you can monitor the temperature and the humidity sensor state okay you can see this time i have tested i will use this cable uh, this time you can see the three cable i have connected power and connect with is485 uh, usb adapt i can just connect with it okay connect it and this one i have connected with my computer Okay, USB cable. And uh, this one, I have a 12 power supply, 12 voltage power supply. You can see if I power on, if I power on, you can see this power LED and this blink, that means work. And also can use for uh, download firmware, update the firmware in future. Okay, now let's look at my computer. You can see this is PC software I already have downloaded. So I can click uh, this one, you can see. And also you can download from this link, uh, just this link, download the PC software to configure and monitor the sensor state. And you can see the COM3 is my USB to IS485 adapt. The default binary is 9600. And the default address is 1. So I can click open. And you can see uh, you will see the temperature and the humidity immediately. And you can see uh, the temperature is 20 and the humidity is 28. So now I will test it and let it become hot. So you can see I can use my finger to hold the SHT30 sensor. And you can see the temperature it became high and the humidity also became high because of uh, some water in my hands. So you can see. So I can change, change it. Okay. Okay, you can see uh, the temperature and the humidity are the changed. So this can detect it. Uh, every second will read the sensor state. And you can see, I also can read the settings. Uh, you can see the default is one. So I can change this uh, to, for example, I can change to, if I have 100 TS sensor, so I can change to 100 and click apply. You can see right successfully. So now you can power off and power on again. I can power off for my TS, power off. And now you can see I can power on again. Okay, I power on again. And this time you can see I can input, just close and input 100 and click open. And you can see uh, the sensor is the leader state. So this time you can see I have set 100 address for different sensors. So that max, max support 200 and 40, 54, you can see, apply, write successfully, and I can power off and power on again. And now I can input, close, and input 200 and, and 55, 54, and open. Okay, you can see, uh, this will be work. 
So you can see, I can, if, if I delete, I can read the settings. So that will be read at here. So that means you can set different address for different TS. So you can connect with many different TS in one bus, IS485 bus. So this can work at the same time. You maybe you will put some sensor in this room and put some sensor in that room and put some sensor outside the room and inside the room. So many sensors put in one IS485 bus. And this all can read by the PC software and all can read by Home Assistant by ESP Home. Okay, as this is King Kong ATS. If you have any questions, you can leave a message to us. Thanks for watching.